Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, today I just wanted to go over a quick, just a little tour of my Jabba sail barge as it stands right now. Um, it's been a while since I've, I haven't really changed a lot, but it's been a very long time since I've done a video on it. So I just want to showcase, like this thing is the centerpiece to my collection. Um, one thing is I don't think I, uh, I've done a video since I put lighting in. So I basically got my string lights, um, just go in here. And basically it's one long wire with some small LEDs that I've basically wrapped and fed through the entire barge. Um, it sort of comes out one of the trap doors there at the back. Not trap doors, but and it sort of goes up so you get some lights underneath here. Um, just because I do find that that, because there's no tilt on the, on the sails here, um, it tends to just sort of hide a lot of things because if you look at it flat, it sort of, does fill in quite a lot of area there and there, um, unless you're looking up like that. It does actually cover up quite a lot of stuff, so um, that just makes just makes a few things pop out. Um, I can have some figures displayed under there, and the lights just sort of help show them off a little bit. Also, sort of in the back here, there is a light in the sort of dungeon there, where the uh, dead hammerhead is. So the kitchen area here is also lit up. This guy really needs a uh, an implement of some sort. I might have to give him one of Dexter Jetster's uh, kitchen utensils. <laughs> Could probably even put Dexter Jetster in there as a kitchen hand. That makes sense. Just love those little little frogs and stuff hanging up there. Uh, still got this guy lurking around. He's sort of my. Uh, Custom Keldor Bounty Hunter slash Explorer slash, you know, Gun for Hire. There's a Gamorrean back there. Another Gamorrean up there. This Wolf. Great, great figure. Yeah, I've managed to put a Greedo in there. I had a extra Greedo, so I put him in there. Um, you know, there's like a million of those Greedos just hanging out on Tatooine or wearing the same clothes. They all shop at the same store. That's, you know, they all got the same taste. But yeah, I'd love to get some more characters in here. I think I've pretty much got most of the ones that are sort of available. Um, then we get down to the skiffs. I do have two skiffs. Um, really lacking a Sarlacc pit. Um, there was a Target exclusive Sarlacc that came out years ago that is just so expensive to find on its own. And even the set itself is really difficult to find. So I'd love for Hasbro to put out a Sarlacc pit. Um, yeah, there's no sort of order to what the battle is sort of set up here. I've just sort of got characters set up. So I've got Han fighting uh, that guy. I've got Lando standing guard. Chewie's about to... Go full rage beast mode. Um, I would like to upgrade that Chewy at some point. Over to this side, this is where Luke's swinging into action. Got the plank out, a couple of weak ways. Awesome. Here's my uh, Desert Sandstorm uh, crew. A couple of these came out in the Legacy Collection. Uh, Han and Chewie, and the other, th uh, and Luke too. Actually, they were all in the Legacy Collection. Pretty sure Luke was too. Um, and then the Leia and the Lando came out in the Vintage Collection back in 2011 when the Blu-rays came out. So we got Leia. There was a fantastic Leia that came out in the Legacy Collection that you were able to swap out her lower half um, for like pre-molded sort of sitting legs I guess so this, you just lay her on Jabba's DS. Uh, probably more room on the throne itself from Jabba's palace than this one here in the uh, in the barge um, but it would still be a nice piece and uh, this layer works um, I'm pretty sure it's just a I'm pretty sure I ended up just getting another one of that layer there and just stripping all the gear off which yes if you're wondering it was really really fun but yeah, this thing has just got some serious detail. Like, I love the little rancor up there. 
Gamorian head, little portrait. There's all sorts of little greeblies. There's a Ishi Tib head back there, which is uh, hidden behind the pole. But it would be nice to maybe even pull that out and put it on one of those screws there, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, some static sort of weapons there in the back. There's so much incredible detail on this thing. Um, I don't know if I've got any pilots in here actually. I think I'll, because I don't, the, the front of the barge is actually really difficult to remove. Um, there you go, done it. And no, I don't have anyone piloting at the moment. That's fine. Um, only because I'll leave that front section on. Um, yeah, I like to display all the figures, so didn't really need one. But yeah, just, just wanted to share this absolutely amazing piece. Um, every time I look at it, I'm just reminded and really excited about how the uh, Razor Crest is going to show up later this year. I think we're, we're going to be in for a treat if it's along the same detail as this thing. Uh, yeah, absolutely in for a treat. A little trap door here that I always forget about too. Put some... I don't know. Stash some things in there. Some Star Wars figure money that I need to tuck away and forget about and just surprise myself one day. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you want to see any of this stuff, you know, right up close. Pretty sure I've done reviews on most of these figures over the years. Um, I do need to do reviews of the skiffs, actually, so I may get to doing them at some point soon. All right, until my next video, thanks for watching. May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.